hello everybody welcome to this video training today i will talk about how you can recover the enabled secret password on your cisco router you know that the enabled secret password is stored in the startup configuration file or to be exact it is stored in nvram so in order to recover this password you need to use uh, what we call a break a break key sequence so you may ask the question what is a break key se sequence the break key sequence is a combination of keys that you uh, use on your keyboard in order to send the break signal to the router and that break signal is gonna interrupt the booting sequence for the router so uh, and I would like to mention that the break key sequence depends on the operating system and the terminal emulator you are using so I mean there is uh, there is uh, it, it doesn't exist a uh, unique break sequence uh, for for stopping your 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 your, your router boot sequence just keep that in mind so uh, now do you know do you know uh, uh, don't know uh, don't know about the break key sequence so uh, the reason why I, I put this question is uh, there, uh, the, it may be some time you don't know how you don't find the break key sequence for your for your router so so uh, if that if that that is the case so i i want you to follow the those step i put up here on the on this presentation F uh, first of all you will need to change uh, the board rate from uh, 9600 to 1200 and after that you will power on the router and press the space bar for like 10 to 15 seconds and uh, after that you will disconnect from your terminal uh, terminal and reconnect with the 9600 both right so in order to show you all those things let's go to Cisco packet tracer right now as you see up here I have a simple uh, diagram up here I have a router connected with a PC via the the console port so up here if you go to the PC up here with on the terminal emitter you see I have the 9600 both right so but you will need to change it up here to 1200 so and once you do that so you will now power on the router and once you power on the router you will press the space bar so this is the uh, I'm on a uh, I'm using Cisco, Cisco packet tracer so I want I cannot show you that into action but in the real world that's how it's gonna happen so just change this board rate to 1200 and once you power uh, once you boot your router you, pre you will press the space bar for like 10 to 15 seconds and you will be able to uh, simulate what we call the break key sequence so I hope you guys uh, get that so now uh, the next question is why we use the break key sequence the reason why we are using the break key sequence is in order to get to RAM what we call RAM monitor mode because RAM monitor mode is a mode uh, is like recovery mode so like if you guys know uh, we have like uh, the exec mode on, on the router we have the privilege mode and we have the global configuration mode but RAM monitor mode is a mode that we use in order to uh, uh, recover something on, on our router if, some, if something goes wrong like in case uh, we want to recover the password so just keep that in mind so and this is the, the prompt for um, for um monitor mode so I'm gonna show you that uh, in, in a few uh, uh, just a few moments I will show you that uh, uh, on Cisco packet tracer so now let's talk about what we call the configuration register so I hope you, for you guys that don't know about the configuration register I will explain you the configuration register determine how the router will boot and uh, uh, I give you uh, three uh, value up here uh, but there, there are more values but those are the three main value you will uh, you uh, you will see uh, most of the time first of all if you see the value uh, 2100 and this is in hexadecimal just just keep that in mind so that means the router will boot in RAM monitor mode so if the configuration register is configured to 2100 that means the router will boot in monitor RAM monitor mode if the configuration register is set to 2102 that means the router will boot normally and if the configuration register is uh, set to 2142 that means the router will boot but will ignore the startup configuration files because when I see it will ignore the content of NVRAM so that means it will ignore the config uh, the startup configuration file because that startup configuration file is saved it's saved in N, uh, in nvram so i hope you guys uh, understand that so now finally let's go and talk about the step-by-step -step, uh, recovery process uh, you, you need to follow in order to have 
uh, uh, to, in, in order to recover uh, your, your password on your Cisco router. So first of all, you will need to get to RAM monitor mode by using the break key uh, sequence. So uh, in with Cisco Packet Tracer, I, I cannot do that. So I'm going to try to simulate the, uh, I'm going to try to show you how you can go to RAM, RAM monitor mode in order, in order to have, uh, to ha uh, in order to simulate this action. So first of all, let's open up this router up here. So you will need to go to uh, uh, global configuration. So let's do the enable first. And we're going to go to global configuration, conf t. And we're going to do conf uh, uh, conf t. And we're going to do, uh, and in order to uh, 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 go to RAM monitor mode, we're, not, we're gonna have to change the configuration register. In order to change the configuration register, we're gonna do conf uh, fig uh, uh, config a dash and config register. That's the command you need. And let's use the question mark. It's gonna ask you the word. That means it's gonna ask you the value for the f f uh, we need to put. In th in this case, we want to uh, get to RAM monitor mode. Uh, in this case, up here. So we need to put 2100. So uh, let's go back to uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. I'm going to do 2100. 2100. And now I will uh, uh, exit from here and save the configuration. WR. And now, once you once I do that, I'm going to reload the router. I'm going to uh, reboot the router by using this uh, reload command reload okay i'm gonna uh, press uh, I'm, I'm gonna press enter so now you see i am in ram monitor mode as you see up here and uh, let's go back to the presentation so first of all what you need to do is to change the configuration register by using this command up here conf rec and that's how you how you're gonna do it so this is uh, this mean uh, if i put this command it's gonna bypass uh, the, the the or it's gonna ignore the the startup configuration uh, on, on your router so let's go back up here. Uh, I do conf uh, conf sorry conf rec. I do zero because it is in hex. That's the reason why you do you you doing it that way. Twenty one forty two. And once you do that, you will uh, use this command in order to reboot the router. Uh, this command, this reset command up here. So I will do uh, reset, 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 and now you see the router is is booting. So uh, in in the real world, that's how it's gonna happen, you know. So now once the router uh, reboot is gonna go, it's gonna use this configuration register. You see, you see now, I'm on the I'm on the setup mode. The reason why because it did ignore. The, the the startup configuration so now I'm, I'm in the setup mode the uh, I'm, I will answer I will answer no answer no uh, to, uh, for this uh, setup mode so I just press no no let me just go to uh, uh, to the next step up here the next step we need to do is uh, to copy the uh, the startup configuration to the running configuration. You copy the you copy the the startup configuration. You, st you copy the 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 startup configuration to the running configuration. Uh, in order to load the startup configuration into memory, because you know <laughs> we, uh, we we did bypass the NVRAM. So that's how you you, uh, you have to do it up here. So I'm gonna do uh, uh, go to enable. Uh, I'm gonna go to copy, uh, copy, start to run, copy start to run. Okay, now, now I I, I copy that. So now uh, uh, the the next step is to uh, uh, the next step is to enable uh, to to create a, a, an enable secret password. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go up here. Uh, and do to the global configuration conf t conf t and I'm gonna do enable 
enable secret and i'm gonna do i'm gonna choose like for simplicity i'm do, i'm gonna do cisco you know cisco one two three you know that's my that's my that's my password because the password you cannot uh, actually uh, you cannot get the the old password what you will do is like to change the, the old password to a new password so uh, so that's it so now the next step is to uh, change the configuration register back to, to normal <laughs> don't forget to do that so by using this config uh, register, uh, register command up here so I'm gonna do config I'm gonna do config config register I'm gonna do uh, 0 x 2102 so in order to uh, okay now now I change the configuration register back to normal so it's, it's not going to ignore the NVRAM because if you forgot this, this step you will be in trouble you know so and the final step is to copy uh, to do the copy running config to start the configuration in order to uh, uh, to have your to have your your enable secret password in the startup configuration file so let's go back to uh, Cisco packet tracer I'm gonna do copy uh, copy run start run start oh no I should I should be in the in the privilege mode or I will do do copy copy run start is the same thing you know run start you can do it that way if you want to and you know that's it so now I, I already I'm done with that uh, with that so now if everything uh, should be okay now so what I need to do is I can go back now and I can go back and now I, I'm gonna reload the router, reboot the router again reboot and now if I reboot if I go back that that uh, password is gonna is gonna uh, is gonna be on the router so now the, the, the enable secret password that we just changed is gonna be on the router so let's try to do enable you see now it's gonna ask the password so Cisco one two three and now finally you got there so that's how you can uh, recover the enable secret password if you are uh, if you <laughs> forget your password or in case you buy something from eBay usually uh, like me if I buy something from eBay I don't know the password and usually the those the those devices those router uh, you buy on eBay usually they come with a password you don't know so in order to recover that you can use this uh, step by step I show you in this uh, in this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I would like to thank you for watching and I see you for my next one. Thank you.